Here's a simple way to create collages in Photoshop and the techniques that I'll share here can be applied for just about any style of collage that you want. But in this example, we're going to start by creating a new document that is just going to be a big square. So from the Photoshop start screen, I'll go up to a new file and then add a width and height of 5000 by 5000 pixels with a white background. I'll click create. The size of your canvas does not matter, but for this example, having a square collage is going to make life a little bit easier for the formatting of the images. Now, rather than having to guess our way with alignment, we can use the help of guides to make our life really easy for structuring our collage. To set up our guides, we'll go up to view and then down here to guides and new guide layout. In the window that appears, let's enable columns and we'll enable rows as well. We want to then disable the margin for now. I'll set the number of columns to however many images that you want. So I want three columns and I want three rows. Now, if we look between the guides, we have a little bit of a spacing between some of the guides. This is known as the gutter. So let's go and add a 100 pixel gutter for both the columns and the rows. And this is going to serve as our white border between all of the images. So with this good to go, I'll click OK. But you can customize this however you want your final collage to look. Now we need some way to tell Photoshop that we only want our photos to appear within these little squares around the canvas. With the help of frames, we can do that super easily and then drag and drop our photos in afterwards. So accessing the frame tool up here in the toolbar, I'll go and select the rectangular frame tool. But before we create any frames, there's one setting that you'll want to enable to make sure that you can use your guides effectively, and that is called snapping. So going back up to view, I want to ensure that snap is enabled. So I have that little check mark right here. Then going into snap two, I want to make sure that the guides is enabled along with all of these other options. Now with that good to go and the rectangular frame tool still enabled, I can just go and align my cursor to the corner of the canvas, click and drag out, and then wait until the frame snaps to the edge of the guides and let go. I'll repeat this process, aligning my cursor to the next guide in the corner, and dragging out to fill that area. We're just gonna do this over and over to fill out the remainder of the collage using our guides as a way to align all of our frames evenly throughout the entire canvas. So I'll just skip ahead until all of this is complete. Once all your frames are added, in this case, I had created a bunch of square frames, but you could go and create any frame size that you want. For example, you could make your frame a little bit more rectangular or whatever you are into. But since we're just creating a even square collage, in this case, we're now ready to add our images. And since we're using frames, we can just drag and drop our photos over the frames that we want them to appear appear in in our collage. Bringing up all of the files on my computer that I want to place within the frames, I can just simply click on the desired file and then drag and drop it over the frame I want it to appear in. So I'll let go and now that photo is within that frame. I'll repeat this process with the next image, clicking, dragging over the frame I want to add it into and letting go. We'll repeat this process for all of our images to fill the collage. Once your images are placed, you might not like the positioning of some of the photos within the frame. So let's say I want to adjust this bottom photo on the left. Well, if I go and click on that photo layer thumbnail within the layers panel, not the frame, but the photo thumbnail and activate the move tool by pressing V, I can now reposition that photo within the frame. So the frame will stay in place, but I can resize and reposition the photo by itself. I'll repeat this on the next image up here, clicking on that desired image thumbnail and then adjusting the image positioning like so until you're happy with the result. So now with all this good to go, I want to clear the guides and then we'll add an optional border around the entire collage. So going up to view down here to guides and clear guides, we now have a full view of our collage. But to add a little bit of a border around the outer edge, we can simply expand our canvas. Going up to image and down here to canvas size, we want to enable the relative option, which is gonna make our resizing adjustment a little bit more clear. And I'll make sure pixels is enabled. For the width and height, I want to add 200 additional pixels outside of both the height and width of my canvas. And I want it to extend equally around the entire photo. So I'm going to make my anchor 
in the middle. With the canvas extension color set to white so it matches the other borders here, I'll click OK. And now we have successfully added a border into this collage. And from here, we can go ahead and export our collage by going to File, save a copy, and then setting your format to JPEG. Now, although creating a collage in Photoshop can be pretty simple, it can be a lot easier if you have templates that you can reuse in the future. So if you wanna get a handful of free collage templates that you can use inside of Photoshop, including the one that I created in this video, then you can download them for free in the description below. All of those collage templates will be drag and drop just like you saw here, but they're already done for you so you don't have to go through the process that we explained here. Again, they are available in the description below. And with that, I'll see you next time.